Thank you for joining us. I'm Michael Mars, and this week we're reviewing the 2013 Tahoe LTZ. The Tahoe's been around for a few years, but it's also still easily identifiable by the Chevy bow tie that set it in between the two pieces of the front grille. The paint on our review vehicle this week is a crystal red and provides a nice background for some of the chrome touches. That in this includes the door handles, the body side molding, as well as the side view mirrors. Now the side view mirrors also contain the turn signals as well as the blind spot indicators and they're heated and will fold flat with the touch of a button. Now the LTZ rolls on some polished aluminum 20 inch wheels. This model has the black running boards across the bottom that provide easy access into the vehicle as well as some additional protection for those underbody panels. Our LTZ came with the optional trailering package. This allows the Tahoe to pull 8,500 pounds. Now this option includes the engine oil cooler, the transmission oil cooler, a brake, brake, trailer brake controller, as well as a set of 343 gears in the rear end. Now the Tahoe weighs about 6,000 pounds and with the 8,500 pound towing capacity that puts the total weight up close to seven tons of detoured iron that has to be moved. With that, you're gonna to have to have some power under the hood. So let's take a look and see what the Tahoe has to offer. Under the hood of the Tahoe LTZ, we find Chevrolet's rock solid 5.3 liter engine that produces 320 horsepower at 5,400 RPM. This engine utilizes a lot of the newer technology to try and get the most out of the fuel mileage, such as the variable valve timing, and it also has an active fuel management system. The active fuel management system literally takes the V8 engine and turns it into a V4 when the V8 power is not needed. Now this transition only takes about 20 milliseconds and is virtually unperceptible by the driver or any of the passengers. In fact, in our review, we had to literally watch the digital gauges to understand if we were running on V8 or V4 power. Now let's take a look at the interior of the Tahoe. On the interior of the Tahoe, the driver quickly becomes acclimated to the engine controls such as the large sweeping gauges as well as the digital readout that provides information such as the average fuel mileage, tire pressure, oil engine life, a lot of the information that the digital world now provides us. The interior of the Tahoe is very nice, it's got leather seats and comes with wood grain. Particularly around the center console is slick. The buttons are mostly flush mount. The climate controls, the nav system, the DVD entertainment system, some power outlets are all right here at the center console. Easy to reach, easy to use. There's also storage in the center console with cup holders that are hidden behind the nice wood grain. The center console itself is large. You can put a small laptop in there. Plenty of storage for material along with the wireless headsets that come with the DVD entertainment system. The leather seats are comfortable. The glove box on the passenger side is large and there's also storage on the door panels. Looking to the rear of the Tahoe LTZ review vehicle we have, we find that we have the four captain's chairs as well as the third row seating. Now the center section seats as well as the front seats are heated and cooled for the passengers and the third row seat is removable. From the rear lift gate perspective, it's much easier to see how the now standard third row seating for the Tahoe LTZ works. It's a 50-50 seat arrangement. It will fold down flat for easier cargo storage, but it doesn't fold flush with the floor. However, two flips of the lever and a pull of the handle and either section will come out. From this perspective, it's also easier to see how the second row captain's chairs are situated and how they can actually provide easier access to the third row seating. Other conveniences include the window glass on the lift gate, power outlets up front, as well as in the back. And the lift gate itself is power operated for whenever you have your hands full of groceries Obviously the Tahoe LTZ is capable of handling six to eight passengers very comfortably on any length of road trip. However, if people moving is your only concern, 
there are other vehicles on the market that might serve your purposes better. But if you're looking for a vehicle that can move your people, tow the RV trailer that you want to put the people in, or the boat for the weekend, or the ski jet skis that you want to use for the weekend, then you really should look at the Tahoe LTZ. It's one of those vehicles that can not only move the people, but it can also hold the load. Thank you for joining us, and this is Michael Mars.